Steven Gerrard, yeah. you obviously saw come through. What was that like seeing a, a young Steven Gerrard coming through? Well, we got Pally quite quickly, me and Stevie. Yeah. Um, there was a group of young players, as you know, Cara, Michael, Stevie, myself, Davy Tomo, all trying to make it and all all mates, really. Yeah. There was not no bitterness or rivalry in any in any way. It was we were all just on the same page. Um and Stevie, although a bit younger than me, had reached where I wanted, you know, the, the first team level quick, quicker. Obviously, I came from crew, but so we were in, we're in a similar place, even though there's a little bit of an age gap. And we, we pallied up quite quickly. Mm. Um, and we ended up being roommates for years. So I wasn't really in awe or looking at him from afar thinking, oh my God, yeah. I knew his talent. I mean, you could see it straight away. He's got, Stevie's got this wonderful presence on a football pitch, mm. this confidence, this belief in himself matched with a tenacity and an athleticism that's highly unusual at that age. Yeah. You know, a bit when you, people watch Bellingham now, it's like, oh my God. Right, yeah, yeah. And Bellingham's there quicker than Stevie. I mean, but Stevie was a bit like that, you know, his first training sessions with Incy and people like that. There was no, no fear. Mm. But watching him evolve and being part of it, you know, we we kind of evolved together. He just had more talent. Um, but it was it was great seeing him become or fulfil that talent because not every player does. Mm. He had a wonderful mindset, good family around him. Um, he got the captain's armband a bit earlier than he anticipated. They took it off Sammy Ipia. And funnily enough, when I was rooming with Stevie, because I don't know if you know details like this, but... One of the issues with match days is always tickets. You know, you can buy tickets for, and then you get comps as well. And everyone gets X amount. If you don't need them, you give them someone else and all that. But the captain is in charge of them. Mm. And when Stevie got the armband, you know, the first thing we, when we got into the room, he's like, we've got the tickets. It's like, <laughs> yes. Um, so that was one. But I, it was great seeing him evolve into that leader and, what he went on to achieve at Liverpool. And I'm so glad he stayed there looking back. The opportunities he had to leave a couple of times and he stayed. What he's achieved at that football club is nothing short of miraculous, really. Because at times, the squad wasn't, you know, what it should be. And yeah. he carried them to trophy after trophy. And he turned up in all the big games. All of them. You know, League Cup final, FA Cup final, West Ham, UEFA Cup final, he scored. Champions League final. I mean, the guy is just phenomenal. Yeah, it it was great being around people like him and Jamie, Michael, because they were they were superstars in their own right. You know, like they were they were winners. They had this mentality that when you're around people like that, it's got to benefit you. Has mm, to. Yeah. And I I think it would have been harder for me to establish myself if I wasn't in that group. Mm. And me and Stevie went on that a, a nice journey together. Is there frustration that Liverpool perhaps didn't win more with that crop of young players? Like maybe might have been able to replicate more what Man United did with their group of players. Um, I think only particular we we progressed quite quickly under Julio mm. for a for a young group, and he brought in a lot of senior, uh, quite a few senior boys to to balance it out. And we had the treble winning year. And in terms of league form, we went, I think we went fifth, fourth, third, second. Right. So we were progressing hmm. and it felt like we were moving on to bigger and better things. I think the pivotal moment was probably the summer when we signed, a lot of the signings didn't work. We signed uh, Jufi and Salif Diaw after the World Cup. I think it was 02. Um, we should have signed Anelka because he'd been with us on loan. Mm. I think that was a pivotal moment. Mm. And a couple of the other signings didn't work. Um, so we we went the other way instead of that way. That was probably, that recruitment that summer was the reason I think we didn't then kick on. Okay. But no, in, in, in answer to your question, looking back on my time there with Julia and those group of lads, I can't really grumble okay. with the trophies we won. You know, I w mm. the year we finished second, I... I think we could. We had it in us to win it, because yeah. it wasn't a really competitive league that year. And we messed it up near the end, but other than that, no. I mean, we look. I, I got to do. I got to do two things. I got. I got to play for the club I love, which not many people do. Yeah, and that is all I ever wanted to do. Mm. That was all I ever wanted to do, and I did that. 
And then the icing was to win trophies. Mm. Now, okay, didn't win the Premier League, but the reality is, if you'd have given me that at the beginning of the journey, you're going to win this, 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 and this yeah. with your team. Sing, you'll never walk alone on the pitch with the players, with your family in the crowd. I'd have bitten your hand off. Yeah. Do you, do you miss it now? It must be hard to... Not now. Yeah, okay. Um, but I did for a long time. I, I, in, I think the, when you finish playing football, the first year or two is like holiday. Yep. I can see that. And then it hits you. Mm. Yeah, you miss it. Miss so many different things about it. Mm. So many. Some footballers actually say they don't. Okay. I'm not sure that's true. <laughs> For me, the main thing I missed was game day. Mm. Game day. Because game day is what gave you the dopamine, gave you the yeah. adrenaline, gave you the, the sense of worth. Contributing to a game... Being important, being adored, being needed, yeah. expressing your talent, those competitive juices, walking off a pitch, knowing you got the better of someone, contributed hugely to a great result. You know, those type of, that was what I missed. Everyday training, yeah, it's good banter with the lads, but, you know, you can have that on the golf course with the lads. You know, you can, yeah. you can find that again. Yeah. You can't find that match day thing. That's personally what I think. I mean, I guess that, that's tapping into human reward systems so many of them on a whole nother level. You, you just rattled off all the things you get in that mm. concentrated period of time. Yeah, that must be. But you don't understand experience. it. Right. Because you've always had it, really. Right. So when I started playing football at a really young age and I was good, I was given a gift. You know, it worked. I, I was just given a gift. I, I was yeah. good at football. It came easily to me. The rewards were always there, even mm. on a, a child level. You know, you're yeah. your top goal scorer, you're winning the league, you're player of the season. There you go, you're wonderful. Now you're playing a year up for the district, a year up for the count, you're playing for England school, but you're amazing. Mm. You know, it's like, whoa, yes, bring it on, bring it on. <laughs> and for me, and a lot of footballers who are, you know, make top level, generally their journey is full of joy and full of, yeah. you know, highlights, which gives you that sense of worth and well-being and all the things we talked about. And then when you stop, don't get me wrong, it's still nice when you get recognised and people want a photo or, mm. or say well done even on your media work, whatever. Yeah. But it's not the same. If you enjoyed this, you can watch the full two-hour-long episode with Danny Murphy right here.